Anime AI art just got a big upgrade with Mid Journey. Mid Journey has now got Niji Mode version 5 and two distinctly different styles you can use. So the way it works is you want to head into your settings by typing slash settings and you'll notice there's now a Niji version 5 which if you click that and select it you can start using Niji version 5 but from there there are actually two modes you can use so if I type in imagine ferocious dog but I type in dash dash style expressive and this is what we get in the expressive style but there's also a different style we can use we can also use dash dash style cute to get a cute look like to get this much sort of cuter anime style with the exact same prompt just using a different style to get that cuter look so you can now go between the expressive and cute styles to sort of go between these two anime styles and uh, have better control of that spectrum when it comes to creating anime art using niji mode but what happens if we just put in ferocious dog without adding a style we get this which i think kind of looks different again it's probably closer to the expressive style but it looks like it's possibly its own style at the time i made this video i couldn't find out from the announcement as to if any of these styles are default but it looks like you could potentially have three different styles to work with or at least the two between expressive and cute uh, if i do find out that i will pop that information in the description or in the comments below but uh while using these styles it's also a good idea to play around with really nailing down the look you want obviously you can get a cartoon look pretty easily but if you really want to make sure you can add cartoon look to your prompt you can even try adding things like 3d render to see what you can get out of that despite it being an anime niji style uh, it's a bit of fun have a bit of a play with it it's a uh, pretty cool especially if you're into anime art there's a lot of potential here for you to have a lot of fun and create some really unique stuff so that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.